Paano ko ba ito isasolve problema na ito? Hihirap naman. Ayaw ko sagot din, napaka-easy ng problem na yan. Ah, wow! Gusto mo ng sagot? Sagot. Ito o, oh, magic. Na, wow! Paano, pa, paano mo ito nasagutan? Paano ito lumabas? Madali lang, explain ko sa'yo. Number five is to determine whether not Q and E implies Q implies not P in the tautology. Sabi ko, ikaw na nga lang magsagot niya na harang-harang pa. Okay, well, the first two column, we list down the possible truth values and the next two, we negate them. Nagugulo lang ko, susit na. In the fifth column, P implies Q, we need to remember that in the implication, it is only ever false if the implication or Q is false. So we can see it's T, F, P, D. And then we have the sixth column. We combine the column of not Q and P implies Q. It is remembered that in conjunction or and, it is only ever true if both values are true. Otherwise, it's false. So we have the result false, 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 true. And then in the last column, not Q and P implies Q implies not P. It is all true because, as you can see, it is there is no false in the implication of P, as you can see here. And then, now, this means that it is a tautology. So we need to remember that a tautology is all true. It's only ever a tautology if it's all true, as you can see it is, despite of all of its compositions. Therefore, the statement, not Q and P implies Q implies not P is a pathology.